let's be honest, I do love to shop. Show you guys like the most amazing things I found lately because I'm just totally obsessed with it. And plus, I Twitter it and Instagram it, and you guys were like, just ask me, did I make it or did I buy it? My philosophy for crafting is, can I be creative with it? Second, am I gonna save a lot of money if I make it myself? So I think of that too. Sometimes it's better off just to buy it instead of making it yourself. That's the reason why I got like some cute vanity decor. And I'm also gonna show you like jewelry and also fashion stuff, of course. Before I show you guys that, I have been getting a lot of questions on my false lashes. I do wear false lashes. I have a two pairs that I love a lot. For a natural look, I wear these Salon Perfect ones. They're the 110 and for four pairs at Walmart, it cost me $9. While the ones from Ardell, which are identical, cost me $17 at um Sally Beauties. The packaging are similar, like everything is similar except the brand. Hit up Walmart or try to Google online Salon Perfect for a better deal. This is more of my natural everyday look. I wear these like five days a week and they last me a whole month for four pairs. For a more dramatic look, I like to wear the Demi Wispies. These are the ones right here. This one in the white packaging is from Salon Perfect while the pink packaging is from Ardell. And on my background, I have my cute little perfume bottle. I love this. Got this from Hobby Lobby. I love the elegant look to this one. But I don't even know the technical term. And it comes with a tassel and an air pump. So I don't know if you can see the squirt. Why am I wasting in the air? Let me spray it on myself. So it comes in, I think, a blue color too. $15, so 50% off is what, you guys? $7.50. Yeah, that's like a great deal, and I'm definitely going to buy more of these just for my friends. I know Christmas is coming around the corner, and I know for sure every girl wants their own pump perfumer. First time ever going to Hobby Lobby. I was so stunned how big the store was. It made like Joanne's and Michael's look like a little corner store. Found some vanity decor. This is the vanity tray that I took a picture onto Instagram. It has like the um crystals on them. A mirror that's sectioned up to four and this was $50 but I definitely wouldn't spend $50 on this. I got it for 50% off. It was only 25 bucks. And I also got like a matching holder. This is not a brush holder, you guys. A candle holder. This is like a decor tip that it holds like a big candle. I wanted to put all my brushes in here. I got a set of two of this. It was $30, but I got it for $15 just because it was 50% off. Definitely try the candle holders to hold your brushes. These are the tea light holders. I just wanted to put this as the centerpiece of my vanity table. Also got a small candle holder, which is the short one compared to the big one here. I like face powders in here that I use often onto my Do Yourself Vanity Tray over there. So I thought that was like a cute way to like store things. I went to Bath and & Body and I had to get some candles because it was raved about this one. The mahogany teak wood. I like love it so much. I definitely would stock up on this because it has like this manly cologne scent and I love cologne scents. Like I just feel like it's a masculine but also fresh at the same time. I do agree with Holly Ann that it does not smell identical to Abercrombie, but it's close to it. So if you really want that like Abercrombie scent, definitely get this. I had to grab the pineapple mango. It has more of a stronger pineapple scent with a light fragrance of mango. I have this cute cardigan sweater. It's really cute. Like I love how like big it is because I'm obsessed with big cardigans. This was $60 at H&M but it was worth it because I love the fit. It's oversized but it's not like it's overtaking my outfits and I love the neutral color to it and wear with it. so many things like a pop of color, orange, pink, purple, blue too. I want to show you guys like a great deal that I got from TJ Maxx. This is the Michael Kors logo. It gives like an elegant vibe to it. it retail for $165 but I only paid 60 bucks at TJ Maxx so definitely you have to like get this one because this is such a timeless piece and if you don't like it to be too long you can also lengthen it up to like a short 
chain necklace and also use the leftover as a chain bracelet. That's from TJ Maxx. I got three of these babies. I think they cost me $15 to $18 each. The texture is very soft so it's not like a hard leather band since it's full leather. It's one in the nude color. The nude one has a chain link in the center. It also comes attached with a button here where it snaps on but this one the white one it comes with two buttons on the side where you can adjust if you want it to be smaller or bigger depending on your arm party it's like links in between each stud and rhinestone in it so that's like super duper cute for the black one i have on today it's like a stud that's wrapped around in the middle it has like this link it kind of looks like an infinity link so i was at nordstrom and i was about to purchase this michael kors watch that i have on today well my a fiance got it for me for our anniversary i love the style to it it's very elegant and the bevel is smooth so i wanted something simple because it's my first michael kors watch and it's something that i can mix up different braces together without being too much this is called the carolines i also will link the series number if you need to be more specific but i just love it a lot so i think my next one's going to be a silver one so yeah i just have this as my arm candy for today i also got these like braces from nordstrom they're from ann klein they're both on sale i think they cost me 15 dollars each it used to be like 40 bucks or something so i thought that was like a great deal too while i was getting braces i found this ann klein chain link necklace like, a cute way to style for your basic tops too so definitely something that you have to check out because they were all on sale and i got some great deals from nordstrom this is the vince camuto riding boots i love the color it also comes in brown too the simple look to this because it's so hard to find a simple riding pair of boots without all that buckle and stuff i wanted something more simple and something that i could wear for many more seasons to come a pair of us in the brown color it's just simple nothing special about it but i do love the comfort of these because i just like can live in my uggs year round if i could from old navy i got myself basic bow patent leather orange flats they were twenty dollars i just love the color because i don't have like orange pair of flats and I just wanted to get every color possible that I can because you can style it in many different ways when you wear flats. I saw by H&M of course, you know that's like the store I live at. I bought a pair of earrings. I love how elegant this looks. It's like so glammed up but also has this like um, boho chic look to it. They were $8. H&M ring, it's like super gorgeous. I love the geometric design of this. It's very simple, but also a great understatement. It was 6 bucks. First time ever shopping in the clothing section of Target. And I found that their sizes do run a little big for me. I usually wear a small to medium at like H&M Mazzaro's. But um, at Target, I had to get a small. And I was super in love with this blazer because it was printed, of course. And it has these shells on it, so it gives like a retro vibe to it. I also grabbed these leopard trousers. I love the pattern and the color because it's like a light beige color and it's not so dark. So it's something that I can wear like a black blouse with it or a t-shirt something like that so i love the fit to it it is a little loose um i got this for 28 dollars and it's a size 2 and i usually wear a size 6 definitely have to go smaller at target for sure and so while i was picking out that print pants i got this like cute vintage jeans from target it has like a faint peachy color of roses on them the mix of dark and light gray pattern of roses so this is like really really cute speaking of affordable print jeans i also found this one from forever 21 so what i love about this print is that the black background is minimal because if you have too much space of the black background with a little print it can make your legs look more wider so i just thought this was a great vintage like fall winter look that you can wear with like practically any basic top 
the last two things I got from Forever 21 is this cute bow cardigan. The reason why I picked up a large because I want it to be a looser fit, especially in the fall and winter. You want to layer up. Go for a looser fit when it comes to cardigans, unless you're wearing like a pencil skirt and you really want it to be form fitting. Cool skirt. I'm like a little obsessed with this. It's like glittered out. Inside of the lining is a shimmer fabric, $20. And I grabbed that extra small instead of small because I felt like the waistband was a little too big for me. So I want it high up in the waist when I'm wearing like a basic tee. I was looking for a tweed jacket and I love this one because it was like an update to the classic Chanel tweed look. This one has more of a biker edgy look to it. I love the zipper in the front with the flaps and also the zippers on the side. For 30 bucks, I can resist it. I grabbed myself this little tank top, black logo on it. It reminds me of the Chanel colors. I love that combination, black, white, and gold. A sporty look to the back. With the lower hem on the back, it has like a scoop finish to it. Striped sweatshirt, I love the fabric of it. It's thin enough that I won't sweat, but I'll also keep myself warm. And it was $25 and Definitely will wear this with a pair of leggings and some boots or something. Comment below if there was like a favorite piece that you must have to get like right away because it's pretty cool. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video possibly tomorrow. So that is the end of the haul video. See you guys later.